Happy Keishaw's Day, everyone! Today, August 27th, 2020, Keishaw's turns one year old. I thought that, since today is a special day, I'd make a video talking about the origin of Keishaw's and what my goals are for this channel, as well as a second video I'd like to get out today, where I actually read one of the stories I've written. So, let's talk about how Keishaw's came to be. Keishaw's probably actually started in late July of 2019 in a survival Minecraft world I created, my original vision for the world, I guess, was to build a small port town on the coast and, for their inland, build village ruins in the middle of a dense forest. I started coming up with little snippets of lore for the village, a name for it, a name for the kingdom it was once part of, and I was even going to have a book with some names of long-dead kings for any adventurers to find and read through. I started creating a language for it, too, one I thought would sound ancient, and boom, early Nucrian was born. I remember the very first sentence was Pa de Shamaz Nutemzet Fazdai. It was meant to introduce the story, perhaps the king list, with the phrase, a long time ago in the land of the wicked. You know, something mysterious. Since then, I've changed the grammar a bit, so now it would read, De Shamaz Pa Fazdai Temzet Nu. Not exactly the same ring to it, but hey, that's grammar. The concept of Shamuz actually predates Mira. Spoiler alert, in 1920 LM, Mira collapses. For good. In its place is a power vacuum and lots of really small city-states vying for power. One, named Shamuz, eventually beats most of the others and at least sort of dominates the nuke in the early 2100s, signaling an end to the Nukrian Dark Age but not quite bringing it yet. The Mirren Chronicle was written to solidify Shamuz's position as the Mirren successor state, and the Kingdom of Shamuz flourished until the Shamuzi Revolution of 2709, when it was transformed into the Meritocratic Republic of Shamuz. I don't focus much on anything past 1920 LM, but this is basically what becomes of the Nuke River Valley, in case you were wondering. Let's go back to that Mirren Chronicle I mentioned earlier. In addition to being an in-world text, the Mirren Chronicle is my ultimate goal for Keishaz. Keishaz was my first foray into short story writing, and it was such a success that I just kept going with it. And now, as of August 27th, 2020, I have written 73,701 words and a total of 58 short stories many of which are about the Mirans, but there are several about other civilizations, cultures, and religions, such as the Dagites or the tribes of the northern continent, Rayami. I'm not done yet, and I'm not exactly sure when I will be, but this channel exists to preemptively promote my future book. As I make videos and gain subscribers, I'll be gaining a fan base, and that's exactly what I want. I don't want this thing I've worked for probably a few years on to just quietly appear on the shelves. I want there to be some anticipation for it, you know? I'm proud of what I've written so far. Most of it, anyway. Anyway, my working title is The Mirren Chronicle, subtitled And Other Tales from Keishaz. I was thinking about putting Keishaz in the main title, but Mira is much more easily recognizable and pronounceable than Keishaz. Hence the need for the subtitle, because the short stories I plan on putting in the book aren't just Mira-oriented, although quite a few of them are. So yeah, that's where Keishaz came from and where I want to take it. I'd like to thank you all so much for 50 subscribers, only took me three and a half months. Anyway, I checked my analytics yesterday and noticed that 56.2% of viewers are subscribed, which honestly blew me away. I thought it'd be lower. But if you're feeling up to it, go ahead and subscribe and share this channel with your friends. I know it's a pretty niche subject, but you never know who might find just simple storytelling interesting. And remember, if you have any comments at all, don't hesitate to leave them. I try to look through every one of them and respond to all your questions. Again, thank you so much for 50 subs, and stick around because I plan on releasing another video today where I actually read one of my stories. See you there!